My name is Ray Briggs. I'm a professor of jazz studies at Cal State Long Beach. And I also play professionally as a jazz saxophonist. My interest in music definitely came from my parents. Uh, my father was an organist at our church, and my mother also sang in the choir. I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee, and there's a lot of music in Memphis, even to this day. Music and math are, are like this. There's no musician that doesn't understand math. It's impossible. Although you see these different symbols, and we call them notes on the page, they really are small uh, fractions that you're looking at. And they add up into holes, and these holes make up units of measurement that we might call a bar or a measure. And they organize thousands of musicians around the world that play. We're all drawing from mathematical principles to organize our music. In music, we have notation that's written down, and we read the music to recreate it when we're in a group or playing by ourselves. And we have different note values, and the note value that I like to talk about is the quarter note. And a quarter note may sound like this. Now, with that quarter note, I can also divide it up into smaller fragments. The next smaller size after the quarter note is an eighth note. So an eighth note takes up half the space of a quarter. So it takes two eighth notes to take up the same amount of space as a quarter note. Here's a quarter note, and I'll play four of them back to back. Now, in that same space, I will divide the quarters into eighths. Now, this still allows for more variation because we can take a quarter and not only have two eighths, but we can have an eighth and two sixteenths because two sixteenths occupy the same amount of space as one eighth note. So let's look at this in fractions. So one eighth and one sixteenth plus another sixteenth. Here are four quarter notes. Here is an eighth and two sixteenths happening in the place of each one of those quarter notes. So rather than an eighth and two sixteenths in each, in each place would sound this way. What does that do for musicians? It gives us variety, it gives us choice. And for you, the listener, it gives you more interesting things to hear and to expect. And all this is possible by using the math and the equations, and in this case, fractions, to allow us to come up with beats and how they're organized and how they're all divided by two. Now I'd like to talk about dotted note values. When we have a note value like an eighth note, and we add a dot, the dot functions very interestingly in music. It adds half of the value that it's attached to. So in this case, the dot is following an eighth. So let's look at it in an equation. Here's one eighth divided by two to figure out what half is. Now this is the same as one eighth, and you divide it by a whole number, it's just like multiplying its reciprocal. So instead of two, we have one over two or one half, giving us one sixteenth. So the dot is equivalent to a sixteenth note. I can take a melody that you all know, like uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb, I can play it as if it were equal eighth notes and sixteenths. Which sounds okay, but I can also add variety by using a dotted eighth value at the beginning. Listen closely. Can you hear the difference? Here's the undotted value. Adding the dot is slightly longer. Can you hear it? So it's a subtle difference, giving us more variety and choice in the music. When you're working out a math problem, you know there's an answer. And sometimes you don't get it immediately. But if you stick with it, 
and you continue to consider possibilities, you'll get the answer. And when you get that answer, you realize two things, that it was there even though I didn't see it, and the second thing is I had the ability to do it, but I had to persevere, I had to keep looking at it, keep working at it for it to come through. Because if you look at it once and say, I can't do it, I quit. Life is like that math problem. My name is Ray Briggs, and I like math because it allows me to play sweet jazz. I think math's cool. Thank <laughs> you.